Every time I wake up in the morning, I fall down on my knees and pray. Well, I thank God for opening up my eyes and blessing me just to see another day. Yeah. 
It's time for your favorite radio program chatting from the Word, hosted by Brother Oscar Yorba on your Spreaker platform where we are chatting about the Word and from the Word, putting an all-important snap, crackle and bob in your Christian war. And we're so delighted to do just that, to put that all-important snap, crackle, and pop in your Christian walk on this wonderful, wonderful morning that the Lord has brought us to see. And Brother Oscar, we just love to thank you for having your ears on this morning and listen to us here as we bring on another episode of Chatting from the World. Yes, 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 yes. And we are so delighted, so delighted to be with you this morning, and we hope that you all feel the same and ready to praise the Lord this morning. Get a little praise in before you start your day. I hope that is just fine with you, that we help you get that praise on in before you begin your day. Amen. Amen. Our introduction song was One More Day, Lord. Just give me One More Day, sung by Wanda. We love that song here. Just one more day. And my friend, the Lord has given all of us one more day. We on top so and not the soul on top of us. And we on this time side of life, giving us all another chance to make what's wrong in our life right. And to walk closer and closer with him. Amen. And amen. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that's within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits. And my friend, it's just another benefit to be here, be alive, and praising the Lord this morning. And we are some blessed people, Lord, we. We that name the name of Christ. And we now have given the opportunity to praise, to praise his name this morning. And for the Oscar, he... he <laughs> he don't know. I apologize. He do not know about you this morning, but you know what, my friend? I am so blessed. I am so blessed to be here and to be with you, those, especially you all that are listening to us live and, and giving us, uh, the Lord has given us another chance to praise him. And we need to thank him for that. Yes, we do. We need to thank him for that. Thank the Lord for waking us up. Thank the Lord for allowing us to get up out of our beds. Some may not have given, getting got up, and some may not even, even have the use of all their limbs. But if the Lord had given you use of your limbs, if the good Lord had woke you up this morning, you're blessed, you're blessed, you are blessed. Hey, yes you are, you are blessed. Amen and a amen. My friend, if you live in the section of the world that Brother Oscar lives in, Ohio, Dayton, West Carrollton, Ohio, the weather people says it is 51 degrees and cloudy 51 degrees 
and uh, cloudy. On yesterday, it, it turned out to be a beautiful day on yesterday. Yes, it did. I had a chance to be out in it yesterday because I had to uh, go and see my doctor on yesterday for my surgery a couple more weeks from now, Brother Oscar. We're going to have to have cataract surgery in a couple of weeks, so within that day of our surgery, we might not be bringing on a program, so we just want you to let you know that in advance. But the Lord blessed me yesterday to be out there in the element of everything, and everything went fine, and the day went great for Brother Oscar. I'm just so blessed. Though I can't hardly see you, but Brother Oscar is just so blessed to be here. I am. I am with all my aches and pains and the problems. It's a blessing just the Lord just giving me another day to say, help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Amen and amen. My friend, if this happened to be your first time listening, we hope you do not allow it to be your last time. Come back and listen to the program once once again, and we hope that you love what you're listening to. And we just want to welcome you to the program, but not just only welcome you to the program, but we would love for you to know you are our honored guest because you have your influence. Amen. And a, amen. And we hope that you love what you're listening to so that you may keep your, the, your ears on through the entirety of the program. Of course, the chat today will be a continuation of what we've been talking about and taking our lesson from, of course, Second Corinthians 4, 1 through 7 is our foundation scripture. And we're going to go to Galatians 1. 6 to 10 and 2 Timothy 4. Let me get it right. <laughs> get it right, brother Oscar. That's not right. <laughs> That's uh, Galatians. Galatians. Let me get it right here. Okay, that's 2 Timothy 4, verses 1 through 5, and that's 1 Galatians. I mean, Galatians, the first chapter. Verses 6 through 10. And of course, we're talking about if the gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. And we're going to try to finish up on that point on today so that we can move in on to verse 5, 6, and 7. So we hope that you keep your ears on through the entirety of the program so that you may hear. The chat for today. <laughs> amen and amen. And my friend, if you love what you're listening to, if you love what you're listening to, and if this program is putting that snap, crackle, and pop in your day, share this program with others, share with your friends, your loved ones, with your neighbors, those that you've partnered up with on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Instagram, or wherever you are on the internet, share and share and share uh, this uh, program. Give them an opportunity, others opportunity to hear chatting from the word in the morning. And my friend, my friend, my friend, we hope that you can help us out in support in supporting this program financially. We do need your financial assistance in keeping this fine program on the airways. And we hope that you can help us out. Help us out now. If you love the Lord, send us, send us something to keep that message alive, if you can. And then here is our, and here is our announcer to allow you to know where you can send 
your proceeds. If you are wondering where to send your proceeds, you can send your proceeds to Brother Oscar PayPal account. Just go to paypal.com and put in his email address which is lowercase oscar york 3443 at gmail.com. Or you can go to sell and again put in his email address which is lowercase oscar york 3443 at gmail.com. We hope you can do it today. We would love to thank you in advance for your generous gift. If you are wondering... Yes, yes, yes. We just want to thank you for your generous gifts. And we want to thank those who have given and those who are going to give. Help us out financially. And if you want to support this uh, program, anybody of Christ, the Church of Christ, who want to add us to their yearly, annually uh, budget, it would be a beautiful, beautiful thing if you can uh, do that to help us to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen and a amen and my friend if you're wondering where you can listen to the program of course you can google us just go ahead on and google chatting from the word hosted by oscar and many of our programs will pop up and you will have a choice to choose uh, which one you want to listen to and those uh, we have done in, uh, in the past and those we are doing recently okay and of course, you can catch it, our program on uh, Spotify, on uh, iHeartRadio, on Google Podcasts, Amazon Podcasts, uh, Podcaster, and many, uh, many more uh, in the networks. You can catch our uh, program if you are interested in listening to our pro. Graham. Amen. And amen. And Brother Oscar, I hope that you are interested in listening to the message of hope, love, and salvation. The message of the cross on this beautiful, uh, beautiful morning. Amen. And amen. It is time for our prayer time. And as always, if you have a prayer request that you want us to pray for here on Chatting from the Word, you can send it to our email address, which is lowercase, oscaryork3443 at gmail.com, or you can send it to chattingfromtheword at gmail.com, or you can put it on any page that you listen to the program through, or you can put it on our messenger page or our Facebook page book page or our YouTube uh, page and we should be able to receive your prayer request and now it is time for our prayer time sweet hour of prayer sweet Sweet 
is our prayer time and if you have a prayer request that you want us to pray for here or chatting from the word you can use those entities that we have just mentioned and as always if you have a prayer request that you want to keep confidential that's fine with us here on chatting from the word we do respect your confidentiality just simply say brother Oscar pray for me and call my name, and I'll be just so delighted to do uh, just just that. Again, this is our prayer time, and our prayer time scripture will be found in Psalms, the 55th division. Our prayer time scripture would be found in Psalms, the 55th division. And if you have a copy of God's Word and would love to read along with us, you are welcome to do uh, just that. In Psalms 55th Division, the psalmist penned and created this psalm. He says, Give ear to my prayer, O God, and hide not thyself from my supplication. Attend unto me and hear me. I mourn in my complaint and make a noise because of the voice of thy enemy, because of the oppression of the wicked. For they cast iniquity upon me, and in wrath they hate me. My heart is full of pain within me, and the terrors of death are fallen upon me. Fearfulness and trembling are come upon me, and horror hath overwhelmed me. And I said, and I said, Oh, that I had wings like a dove, for then would I fly away and be 
at rest. Lord, then I would wonder, then would I wander far off and remain in the wilderness to lie. You know, many of us, we, we feel that way. We feel like we can just get away from it all, away from problems, away from paying bills, away from, away from all the chaos and the chaotic things that happen in this world to us. Oh, many of us, we feel that way. But Jesus is that person, my friend, that you can talk to when you're going through the worst. All you need to do is have faith in him that everything would be all right, and it will. Hear the, the psalm say, here, give an ear. Give an ear to my prayer. And this morning, we know the Lord hears our prayers this morning. He really does. And if you want to pray along with us, you're welcome to do that. My friend, are you ready to approach the throne of grace so that we may have a little talk with our Father? Sweet our Father, who sits high and looks low, Father, we come to you this morning in the humblest way we know how, with our heads, hearts, minds lifted up to you. Father, first in thanksgiving, Father, we come thanking you for a blessing of another beautiful day that you benefited us all with. Giving all of us on this time side of life another chance to make what's on our life right and to walk closer and closer with you. Oh Father, 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 we thank you, thank you, thank you so much for that. And Father, we thank you for allowing your only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to come down from the beauty of heaven, down to this cruel, sin sick world, to show us how to love, to show us how to live, and to help us connect with you, Father, we thank you so, so much, so, so much for that. Father, Father, we pray, we pray, Father. Oh, Father, we pray, thanking you for allowing, for allowing our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, our Savior, to face the cross, becoming sin who knew no sins, so that our sins may be washed away in his blood. Oh, Father, we thank you. Thank you so much, so much so much for that and while we thank you come thank you we just thank you all over the place this morning father while we pray we pray for this world in which we live we recognize for all the world stands a distance from you but while we pray for all of these disastrous things that goes on in, in this world and those that are caught up in it the storms, tornadoes, uh, volcano eruptions, those that are caught up in the fires and mass killings while we pray for each a victim that you give them the, the, the perseverance to keep on, keeping on. And Father, we pray for wars and rumors of wars. We pray for Amos and Israel. We pray for Russia and Ukraine. Father, we pray that that be peace, that peace will take over their minds so that love may conquer all. Father, Father, we, we pray, Father, we pray, Father, if that be any boy, girl, man, and woman who wants to accept Jesus Christ, 
before his everlasting joy and be added to the body of Christ. We hope that they have the courage to do so and to do it quickly. Oh, Father, we pray for those who have lost loved ones. Father, we pray that you comfort them. Father, we pray for those that have lost loved ones to the hands of the police. Father, we pray that you comfort them. Father, we pray for each police officer who are given their lives in the line of duty. Father, we pray for their families that you comfort them. Father, we pray for all of our political leaders at this time. Father, we pray that they never make laws forbidding us from worshiping you, but make laws where we all can live in peace and harmony. Oh, Father, we pray for the body of Christ once again. Father, allow the body of Christ to continue on being be in the lighthouse, leading others to Jesus Christ. Father, we pray for all of our listeners at this time. Father, we pray that you be with them through all their doubts and all their fears. Father, we pray that you cast all their doubts and fears in the deepest part of the sea where they won't resurface anymore. Oh, Father, 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 we pray for our program this morning. Father, we pray that you help us to keep this program on the airways. Father, we pray that you keep us going and going and teaching your word. Oh, Father, we pray that you be with our chat this morning. If the gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. Or help us to say something, to help someone who wants to find Christ. Help us, Father, this morning to say something to help those who want to get stronger in Christ. Oh, Father, we pray for all those that have downtrodden this morning. We pray for those they are having problems after problems after problems. Father, we pray for those that are having marital problems, financial problems, mental problems, problems in school, on the job. Problems after problems after problems. Father, we pray for them. And while we continue praying for those who are trying to teach and preach your word, under all circumstances. We pray that, Father, never let Satan put a rope, a stumbling block in their way, that they may continue on teaching and preaching your word. And, Father, as always, we pray, we pray, we pray, Father, that you keep us encouraged and never discouraged. In Jesus' blessed name do we pray. Amen. And a amen. Thank you uh, 
for reading our scripture text along with us, for praying along with us. And as always, we hope that we pray for something uh, that is on your mind. And now it's time for our chat. Yes, it is. It is time for the chat for today, but if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 1 through 18. It's time for the chat, Brother Oscar. Yes, yes, yes. It is time. It is that time. For the chat. Yes, it is. Amen. And amen again. We're so delighted to be with you and be at this portion of the program where we are sharing the Word of God with you. And I don't know about you, my friend, but you, if you are a, have a strong desire to go to heaven one day, Knowing God's Word is important. Praising the Lord is important. Talking to Him is important. If one day you want to make heaven your home. But I, I, I think like this, if you cannot praise Him here, and if you don't love Him to praise Him enough here, to study His Word here, to give Him grace, uh, 30, 40 minutes of your day, how do you expect to go to heaven where we're going to be praising him to all eternity? That just cannot be done. If you can't do it here, it won't be done when you go up there. Think about that. If you're the type of person that just can't find time to praise the Lord at least 30 minutes, 20, 30, 40 minutes a day, you can't make it there, my friend. And that's the reason why I thank God for allowing me to bring this program on here on Chatting from the Word. And in today's time, sometimes you, you got to use different avenues to reach people. It wasn't like when I first began my ministry or uh, being in the body of Christ. Back in the 60s and 70s, early 70s, it was a lot different. You didn't have the internet. You didn't have the, all this that was going on now. And the opportunities that we do have now to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. I'm just so delighted uh, to be able to have that opportunity to do that, that the Lord has uh, blessed us with that opportunity to be able to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ to you this morning. And it is just a blessing to do just that. And I'm glad you're listening, especially all that are listening to us, to us live. But do us a favor, and most of you, if you listen to us on a regular basis, you know what I'm getting ready to ask. Go ahead on and get relaxed. Have a cup of your favorite morning drink. Coffee, tea, milk, juice, hot chocolate, cold chocolate, or whatever it may be, not the horse stuff now. And get relaxed. If you relax in your reclining chair, recline on up. If you relax sitting at your dinette table, go ahead on and have a seat. But what we want to ask you this morning is to, is to have a copy of God's Word. Because we cannot chat about the Word and from the Word without a copy of the Word. So go ahead and get a copy of God's Word so that you can, hey, study with us and chat with us about our lesson this morning. And of course, our lesson will be taken from, of course, uh, 2 Corinthians is our foundation scripture, uh, 2 Corinthians 4, 1 through 7, and we are going to first, I believe, hit 2 Timothy 4, and then back to Galatians 1, uh, 6 through 10. And so we want you to, to turn to the scriptures and open your Bible and turn to the scriptures, but not just open your Bible, but open your mind. Put away those traditions and things that you've been believing on Paul 
what the Bible says and accept what the Bible do say. It's one thing of thinking the Bible said it and then find out it's not saying it. And I believe most people, when they read the Bible and find out that, oh, I thought it was in there. And then when it's not in there, oh, my God. Okay, that's a letdown to some people. But what we need to do, if we truly love the Lord, have our minds open when it comes to the Scripture. Because what we do here, we chat. We chat about the Scriptures. We just don't teach, we just don't preach, but we chat about the Word of God. Because we want to talk over you, under you, around you, but we want to try to reason with you when it comes to the Word of God this morning. Can we reason with you? Brother Oscar, hope we can reason with you when it comes to the Word of God. Not saying that I'm the smartest cookie in the cookie jar, but as I have said many times, if I'm wrong about the things I have said, over the airways, give me a text. Send me a text and say, Brother Oscar, uh, you said this wrong, or you said uh, that's not right. But prove it by the scriptures. I say that almost every day. I give everyone opportunities to really have something to say if I'm wrong. So don't go off and say, Well, Brother Oscar is preaching false doctrine if you did not uh, let him know what he's preaching wrong. That's a sin within itself. If I'm saying something wrong to masses of people, I'm heading them in the wrong direction. So if I'm heading in the wrong direction myself, and if you can prove that, let me know. Don't just talk about Brother Oscar like many have and say you can't listen to him. He's teaching and preaching false doctrine. Show me. Show me, I'm a type of preacher. You got to show me in the Word of God where I'm wrong. And it is, if I'm wrong, hey, I'm ready to change that. I really am. I'm ready to change that. So this morning, what I want to do is go back to our foundation of Scripture, uh, Second, Second Corinthians, to to get a understanding of where we are coming from. So if you have a copy of God's Word, turn to 2 Corinthians, which is our foundation scripture, and read with me 3, 4, and 5. And here in 3, 4, and 5, Paul said, But if I gossip be hid, <coughs> excuse me, if I gossip be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, in whom the God of this world has blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of a glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine upon unto them. For we preach not ourselves, but Christ Jesus, the Lord, and ourselves your servants for Jesus Christ. I just thought about something. I don't want no one listen to me thinking that I'm trying that I'm trying to uh, talk bad or talk down one beliefs but my goal here on chatting from the word is to examine the truth of God's word and let that be known and let that be known I'm not trying to ridicule no one here or talk bad about anyone but what we are trying to do here is examine the truth so that the truth can be heard and that false teachings because false teaching is one of the way Satan have trapped many many people false teaching is one of the ways that Satan have trapped many people and you look around today you will see many people that are trapped behind the cloud if I can use that term of false teaching 
And if you ask for the Oscar, it's so important to know the truth. It's so important to know what the Word of God says. It's so important to prove what the Word of God says. The Bible says in the Thessalonians to prove all things, hold fast to that which is good. We must prove under shadow of doubt the Word of God and what it says. And it, and at the point that we're hitting the right road, trying to make heaven our home. And like I said, if, if I've said something that 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 got that have you upset, I won't use the word got you upset, but have you upset, let me know. And if I'm wrong, let me know. But Satan himself today have calls many to be lost because of false teachings. And as I have said many times, we we follow these false teachings because it is something either missing, it is something either missing in our lives or something that we desire when it comes to our fleshly desires and many of us it's hard for many of us uh, to to decide what to choose if we're going to choose christ or either mammon well we discussed that in matthew 6. and god don't you know god knows that you have wants and needs and desires don't you know God knows what you need even before you ask him? But many of us, we allow many of these false teachers, they disguise themselves behind what we want, what we desire, and what some may feel that they need. Yeah, I need happiness. This, this guy can promise me happiness. He's showing me how to be happy. Uh, this person is showing me how to get a million dollars. He touched my life, and yesterday I had a million dollars. He touched my life, and I was healed. He touched my life, and this happened, and that happened. And when you believing under the cloud of mis, uh, misconceptions, you are lost, and the gospel is here to you because you have allowed that false teaching to take over your control, over control of your life. You let that false teaching show you something that you believe you need, want, and desire. And not saying that, that that thing ain't fulfilling your desire. And I believe that's one thing that, that has us trapped, too, behind these false teachers. We, we go to these meetings where this faith healer is at. And I say, well, yeah, he healed me. I, I could walk now, Brother Oscar. Like I said, Satan can cause you to do some, Satan himself can cause some tricks to happen too. <laughs> yes, he can. Brother, uh, I, I went and this brother said, I'm going to have a million dollars. And brother, you know, yesterday I got the million dollars. <laughs> yes, that could happen too. Well, I still don't have a million dollars, but, but you received that million dollars because you went to that meeting and that brother prayed over you and you got your million dollars. Like I said, Satan himself is also in the blessing business. And I think some of us, we, we get so confused. We, we allow Satan to get control of us because of our needs instead of looking at Jesus Christ. Instead of looking at Jesus Christ. And here, as some of us, like I said, we do it under disguise that it's Jesus, it's Christ, it's the Lord blessing us. And you following false teaching, it's not the Lord that's blessing you, my friend. It's Satan. Satan knows God's word better than you, better than me. And he will use that to his advantage to get control over you and over me. Satan does that. And you may as well, you might ask, well, well then, brother, what, what do we do? 
you continue on you continue on believing in Jesus Christ and his word you continue on being in obedient to his word you don't leave his word regardless what is going on in your life or what's not going on in your life you continue on believing and be in obedient even when things are not going your way you keep on being in obedient to the lord you keep on doing it his way you keep on following the apostles teaching well brother oscar's whole things don't get any better again you keep on believing and being obedient to his word and you all that have not been obedient to his word get there get there get in the place where salvation lies and don't leave it because of circ our circumstances don't leave it because I need a big car. Don't leave it because I need a home. Don't leave it because I need this job. Don't leave it because you're not blessed like your neighbors. Seek with the truth of the God's word. Don't leave it because Christ knows what you need before you ask. He knows what you need before you ask. And I think many times the reason why we don't we don't receive the blessing is because we give up. We don't wait on the Lord. We don't wait on him. And waiting on him just simply means keep on doing his way regardless what may come of what circumstances you may find yourself in. You keep on believing, you keep on doing it his way, regardless. Regardless. Don't give up on Jesus. And many of us, we have given up on Jesus. Many of us are out here following these false teachings. Many of us are following these false preachers. Many of us, we are following these people into the pit. Jesus himself said the blind said, that the blind lead the blind, they both shall fall into the, the ditch, into a hole, into hell. <laughs> it's not funny. I know it's not funny. But that's all I'm going to have for you today. I just hope that I have said enough this morning to cause you to think about your soul salvation. To think about where you are in the Lord. Are you ready? If the Lord will call you home this morning, would you uh, be ready? And I want you to think about that. If the Lord will call you home, would you be ready? That's all we have for you today. We just thank you. If you listen to us live, we do appreciate that. If you Listen to us later on. We thank you for that as well. We had some complications coming on the program this morning, but I hope, I hope and pray that we worked out the complications and that you are listening to the program clearly and tell others about us here on chatting uh, from uh, the Word. We pray with me, please, uh, Father of Jordan Heaven. Allow be thy name, thy kingdom is here, thy will is then done. Father, we just want to thank you for giving us this gracious and beautiful day. Father, we thank you for the benefit of being able to bring this program to the airways. Father, we thank you so much for that. And Father, we pray for all of our listeners this morning. We pray, Father, that you go with them, help them to show the word of Christ in them and be proud to be a Christian. Now may the grace of God, sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, rest you and abide with us until we meet again. In Jesus' blessed name do we pray. Amen and amen. Love somebody. Love everybody. Bye-bye. And may God bless.